was open to love all night, and all day he was determined to erase her autopilot. So he instructed her at long distance, middle range and close quarters loving, thus destroying her armour once and for all. He was more persistent than a Jehovah's Witness. The gallant lover bestowed her a full-on siege of true love. Then he took her heart rate variability into the purple zone. She never had digested something this pure, ever. She got lost in that perfect storm of his heart, crafted caresses. She was begging for mercy as he dived at her hips and rejuvenated her. But he insisted that the show must go on. And so, she gave her consent. Our gallant jaded Green Eyes lover continued to gift her with the most marvellous plot twists in the art of true love. He showed her the complete frame. They were both now kisses in infinite industrial amounts. Sweaty, fully committed bodies. Dreams manifested now as reality truly whole essences that completely dissolve into wholesome moans through our expert humanity. We are now perfect desire, a desire that does not spoil and does not consume anymore. This desire without a net or borders that gives its name to everything becomes everything. This desire that bites, chews, licks it all, a dancing, winged, ever flaming and ever effervescent desire with its perfect orchestration, and us, as that imperishable desire, we will always be synonymous with true life and true love. Both were now tasting the perfect canvas. They were one, undivided, an uninterrupted one. He took her where no one ever took her before, and after this celestial orgasm, she was now out cold like a hot housewife hooked on Xanax.